Hello, hi, and welcome to A Course in Miracles. We're on Lesson 116 of the workbook, the morning and evening reviews of Lessons 101, God's Will for Me is Perfect Happiness, and 102, I Share God's Will for Happiness for Me. Now let's look back at this one sentence or a few sentences paragraph that start out this lesson 101 today we will continue with the theme of happiness and this is a key idea in understanding what salvation means happiness and salvation are the same thing if we're not happy if we're miserable if we're unhappy then we really don't understand what salvation means. It says, you still believe it takes, it asks for suffering, that salvation asks for suffering as a penance for your sins. Or if you, you don't, maybe you think that you have to pay off some karmic debt. But this is not so. But you must think it so while you still believe that sin is real and that God's Son can sin. Because if sin is real, then punishment is just and cannot be escaped. And salvation thus cannot be purchased but through suffering. And this is a, a concept that has been with us as long as People have thought about why we're not happy and, you know, we must have, I must have done something wrong. Or if we are happy, expecting the shoe to fall any minute because we know we've done something wrong. But this is the kind of ideas that A Course in Miracles is trying to correct in our mind. So, God's will for me is perfect happiness that's something that needs to be corrected in our mind because on some levels there's a part of us that needs to be told that that the universe is again is not against us but it's for us and it wants to be us to be happy God's will is perfect happiness for me and I can suffer but from the belief that there's another will apart from his. So this is saying that, that if, we, if we're suffering on some level, we believe that, that there can be another will apart from his. In other words, if, if God's will is perfect happiness and I'm suffering, then there must be some other will maybe my will maybe I have this alien will maybe I'm not choosing to do the will of God and believing that that's possible that my will could be something apart from his that that our wills are one is a source of our unhappiness. But our happiness is the biggest witness that we have in our whole life for um, drawing people to happiness in their own life. Because if we're not happy, who would, who would want to be a part of any kind of idea or thought system that didn't bring happiness and so we're saying that we're listening to the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit if I follow the Holy Spirit then it will lead to happiness it will lead to salvation which is happiness and what is the Holy Spirit telling me to do forgive so, 
believing that there can be another will, believing that there can be sin, is one of the core beliefs that we're looking at here in our own lives. That we, we believe that we can actually have a will that's different from God's will. That that's actually even possible in reality. Only in dreams, only in illusions could that be possible. In number two, the evening review, I share God's will for happiness for me. So we're making that choice in this statement to share God's will for happiness for me. I share my Father's will for me, His Son. What He has given me is all I want. What He has given me is all there is. So, you can look at this and you can say, all right, well, I have another will and I need to somehow change it and choose God's will for me. But I don't think that's where the course is going with this statement. I think where the course is going here is that our true will has never been different. Our true self, the will of our real self, with a capital S, the Son of God, has the same will as its Father. Or I, my true self, has the same will of my Father. And realizing that, I think, is where the Course is taking us. Not saying that you have an you have a you're against God's will and that's why you're happy no I think it's saying that we it's ridiculous to believe that we could possibly have another will that anything could be another will than God's will and that we realize or we're reminding ourselves the truth that I share my Father's will for me, His Son. What He has given me, that's really what all I want. And if you think about it, what do you want? You want happiness more than anything else. I mean, we do things we think are going to give us happiness, but that's really what we want. What God or He is giving me is all there is in reality so I think that's the direction we're moving in today not trying to change our will to fit with God's will that's not how I see it I see it more that we're realizing that we're not an ego that's a separate will separate from our Father but that our true self has one will with the Father. And that's our true will. The Father's will for us is happiness. And our will is happiness. And we're realizing that. And that suffering is not God's will. Never has been God's will. And will it's useless. It doesn't get you anything. Except for unhappiness. And so that's kind of my thoughts on what we're going to be looking at today. On the top of the hour, God's will for me is perfect happiness. And at the bottom of the hour, I share God's will for happiness for me. So if you get any insights, you know, uh, agree, disagree, whatever, feel free to share it in the comments. Because I welcome your thoughts and I welcome us doing this together. So thank you so much and have a great day. Aloha, mahalo, and I'll see you tomorrow.